go. Here we are. Ah, there you are. Uh, so, video time. Yes, got to get a video in. But seriously, the, the lately, people always ask me what's selling. And for the past two years, the most requested guitar we get is a 335. And an ES-335 is this. And all you guys know the ES-335, if you're looking at their website, they have a center block running through here. It's half hollow, half solid. And the reason guys like them is because they have the same playability as any electric guitar, yet they don't feed back because of that center block. Now, in, um, you guys are also probably familiar with Collings. And Collings guitars, their 335 is an inch shorter. So it's actually an inch shorter this way, which makes it much more easy for me as I'm playing. I can reach down to the control section as opposed to a 335, which has another extra inch. And when you're playing live, that distance makes a difference. It also fits better like this. It tucks in. So instead of being 17 inches, it's 16 inches across. Now, Collings, who's known to make acoustic guitars and known to be excellent. Bill Collings started back in the 80s. Uh, he was a custom maker in the mid 70s and started making guitars in, for George Gruen in the 80s and soon became probably the premier guitar maker in America. And we're Americans, that's what we do, guitars. That's really, you look us up on Wikipedia, America. It just says one word, guitars, that's it. And this represents a lot of what makes America great. These Collings like this is, the first electric Collings came up with was the I-35. It's for the highway I-35 that runs near the factory and it's also probably a small nod to Gibson's 335. You get the drift. Um, but their 335 is an I-35 LC. LC stands for laminated construction. That means this wood, if you were to look at it on the edge, or if you could see it beyond the binding, is laminated, right? A 335 has always been laminated. Gibson's 175, laminated. The uh, Gibson ES330, laminated. So these guitars are laminated construction. And um, this we just got in. It's kind of a nice, cherry sunburst that's somewhat faded. It really is a gorgeous guitar. You can see things here like a Spanish heel. Gibson doesn't do that. They just put a heel on the guitar. This is all part of the neck. For these guys, they actually do an overlay on the heel. That is called a Spanish heel. And yes, it's an indicator of details that are involved in this type of guitar. Details, details. The headstock is what we call a haircut headstock. It has that little doodad up there. But if you look closely too, you can see this edge is edged out. They didn't just cookie cutter it, cookie cutter it, cookie cut it. But if you look at the headstock, the pitch here is greater. The headstock pitch, you get more resonance. And then the top of the headstock, this just gives straight cut. They put a lot more care and detail into those headstocks than Gibson does. I'm sorry, Gibson. We love you. But if you're looking for something that's just flat out the best, you just want to not screw around anymore and get yourself the best guitar you can. There's so many little details. If you get into like bridges, they're made of brass. You can cut costs on a bridge by um, using a, a powder coat or a powdered metal and compress it. So sand casting your bridges is a great way to save money. And if you're making a thousand guitars, you can save money that way. No, no, not with these guys. Everything is high quality. All the components, the pots, the switch, the pickups, the plastics. And for this one, we ordered it with binding on the neck. Now, the reason I like binding on the neck because I can look down on it and you can see the dot inlays and it's kind of easy to see from the side. Yet it has your nice, simple dot inlays. This is a medium big neck. And here, you're probably thinking, what does that guitar sound like? And I just happen to have an amp. Go figure. Playing through a um, car Telstar, which is a, an amp that goes down to one watt or up to 16 watts. <laughs> So, you're 
your standard controls just like a Gibson. Collings guitar anywhere in the neck. There'll never be a dead spot on the neck. The fretwork is perfect. The binding is perfect. The neck is perfect. How they choose the wood, the way the wood grain goes, it's all been thought out. The I-35 LC. 